All right, it's been 24 hours since I applied the Rust-Oleum Wipe It, Wipe It New Headlight Restoration. I am semi-happy with it because, please stop messing with the cat, Josh. He's fine. Stop. You're going to make him scratch my paint. Stop it. Um, sorry. As I was saying, I'm semi-happy with it because it did take ooh, the yellowing off the top because that's where it was. Just right here. A little bit of haziness and yellowing. So that is gone. This headlight looks pretty good except a slight fogging right here. You can't really see it because of the reflection. Um, there you go. You can see it just slightly right there. Right here. So, what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to leave that headlight alone for now. And then on the passenger side, I don't know if you can see it. It is very, very hazy and streaky. So, I am going to wash it up real quick with some soap and water. And then I am going to use the polishing pad to get the oxidization out. So give me one minute to get some gloves and the pad. Kind of wasn't ready to make this video. Just trying to do it fast so my son would give me five minutes, but that's impossible. Okay, now I have work gloves on because I used the other pair and I threw them out after I used them. These are actually made for automotive stuff, I guess. I have the microfiber rag and the sponge, sandpaper sponge, or they call it a professional lens polishing pad. It says it is actually, says how many grit it is, give me one second. Oh, here we go. The green side of the polishing pad is very fine 2000 grit sand surface. It gently removes the oxidation without damaging the acrylic. The gray side of the pad has an even finer 300 grit surface that will polish the lens prior to the wipe new. So one more time, I'm going to read the directions just to make sure we have it down. Okay, wipe new headlight restore. To determine whether you need the professional lens polishing pad, pour water onto your headlight lens. The way the lens looks when it is wet is the way it will appear once treated with wipe new. If the lens appears crystal clear when wet and hazy, only when dry, then you do not need to use the lens polishing pad. Simply wash the lens with soap and water, rinse, proceed to step four. If the lens is cloudy, hazy, when wet, proceed to step two. Well, we already did that and it's streaky and whatnot. So, we're gonna use the polishing pad. <clears throat> I have soap and water. So I'm going to put that on the headlight real quick. Just a quick wash. Are you getting everything? The light? You don't got to worry about me in the video. I'll leave my hands. Do a quick wash of the headlight. Just keep it on the, um, pause it for me. Just pause it. Don't see you got the headlight. Okay, and then we're gonna press play. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna rinse with clean water. Okay, and then we're gonna wipe it dry with the microfiber towel, which this one's actually a lot better than the one I used in the last video <coughs> yesterday. And right now I have my son being cameraman. Hopefully he's getting the light in the shot. Yes, I am. Okay. So that's all dried up. Okay, now wet the headlight lens with water and use the green side of the lens polishing pad to wet sand the headlight lens and remove the oxidation. Ensure the lens remains wet while using the polishing pad. The oxidation coming off the lens will appear 
as a brownish color liquid. Continue to rub until the visual indicator is no longer present. Important, do not allow the polishing pad to come into contact with painted surfaces as it may scratch these surfaces. After, re-wet the head lens and use the gray side of the professional lens polishing pad to further polish the head lens. Then, number four is dry the lens thoroughly with the towel, inspect the surface,